Hello and welcome to History's Page. This week, we'll recall with childlike excitement the annual excursion on the good old Rockland bus, our route from Bay Street to the big beautiful boulders at Bathsheba. Why? Because it is this experience that informed one of our best loved Caribbean and Barbadian poets, Professor Kamau Brathwit. Join us this week on History's Page. This then, Kamal, is the beginning of the crossing. The beginning of the crossing, the beginning of the mystery, beginning of the alternative Barbados. Right. Yes. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the city behind. We're leaving the West behind West. too. Right. Uh -huh. We're leaving the lowland behind. We're leaving mm -hmm. all of the old traditional Barbados behind, and we're entering, for us, a new Barbados, a Barbados that we are now about to explore. A Barbados that is going to begin to give us vibrations which will create a poetry which we did not know we had in us, mm -hmm. but which from constantly entering into this new space will begin to open up visions of a possibility which we didn't know we had before. Is, is it that there's no poetry in the West or, or is it that this That's is a, a different, different poetry, kind of poetry? Right. This is where the gears change. Right, this is right. where the pentameter <laughs> ends mm -hmm. and where the soca begins. Right, this is where reggae, this is where all the new songs begin. Mm -hmm. Right here at the beginning of Horse Hill. The rhythms have to be different because to, to, to climb this landscape, you cannot walk as they walked at the Battle of Waterloo. You cannot say mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, one, two. You've got to find another way of getting up the hill. You've got to say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So you, the and whole sense took. Took, it took his perhaps one of the, the rhythms, yes, took his our basic one. Okay. But whatever it is, it's an acknowledgement that we have to change the rhythm. Mm -hmm. In Our fact, we have to go to rhythm. Once the rhythm changes, the way we speak, the images change. Mm -hmm. Everything changes. The whole physiognomy changes. Well, totally different from your excursion route then. They had nothing then. But I'm saying that if we could have done this wall, we would have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I first saw the wall, I said, well, it's wonderful that some people in the district have sensed what we felt, right. that this marks the, big, the threshold of a, another Barbados, mm -hmm. the other Barbados. And they have done it, they have celebrated it, and they really made a remarkable statement. And one is very happy to be here among these lions and these, these images of... You know, I mean, this must be Amerindian, those mm -hmm. cat-like mm -hmm. figures, those leopards, those, those red eyes surrounded by the black eyebrow. You know, these are images which we still don't really see in schools. Right. Even you think of it, you know, the schools right. are still, I think, giving us the traditional, more placid sense of art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here is the beginning of a new art for Barbados. It's interesting to find out how far this will go, yes. you know. What what is a country supposed to do when its people throw up things like this? They should they should first of all celebrate it instead of. I suspect that the first reaction was that they should be removed. The eh? paint up the wall. I'm sure they painted the wall and mash it up and make it look bad and it's disgraceful. But what what a culture does is that whenever this emerges and shows a sense of stability as this does, mm -hmm. you begin to revise your canon. You begin to say, well, if this is happening, it must have a meaning. Right. And try to understand the meaning and try to encourage the artists who create this, this movement, this new sense of space, this new tone, this new rhythm. And I think it is remarkable that Barbados has done it because the traditional idea is that Barbados does not have any primitive artists, any intuitive artists, and that certainly that back a little bit right. intuitive artist. Right. Yeah. The, the Barbados, idea. It, that Barbados yeah. has no intuitive artists and if they are intuitive it would be on the on the scope, the dimension of Ivan Payne mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. But this is entirely this is monumental, this is strong, this is vigorous. This has no there is no tradition out of which this comes. You know, the, you cannot say that this is a Barbadian school of X or Y. This has come from a vibration which we don't really understand yet. Okay. This is not taught in the schools. Is there poetry here? This is poetry itself, yes. Right. I mean, I feel so happy at this moment. It's warm, it's cool, and as I said, um, 
it is transforming traditional shape into something else, traditional shape and color coming to something else. This is a grotto of the imagination. Mm -hmm. History's page continues when we come back. <laughs>